Dr. Temple Grandin once said, the thing about being a female in a male-dominated field is that you have to be twice as good. And that may be the case for The Ohio State University's carcass evaluation teams. The last three years, the teams have consisted of all female team members. And this year's team is also no different. The meat science program is housed within the Department of Animal Sciences, which was previously known as the Department of Animal Husbandry. Carcass evaluation teams began in 1928 and were male-dominated. Senior student female Cully Emerson quickly fell in love with meat science. When COVID hit, she took a job at a small processor in her hometown. And then after she graduated from the Ohio State University ATI in Worcester, she moved to the Columbus campus and quickly took a job in the meat lab on the Columbus campus. Student Emily Rear had a different experience. She grew up in a family whose sole source of meat was from the farm animals that they raised and in fact butchered themselves. The carcass evaluation teams at The Ohio State University are not the only thing that is female dominated. The meat lab also is female dominated. Out of all the workers on the staff, only two are male. The meat lab is also female dominated with only two male workers out of all of the staff. And although both students had different experiences, they both have a deep passion for the meat science industry. Rear says, you must be assertive and trust your knowledge and skills, especially being a young female. Often people don't take you seriously in your position and devalue your knowledge. However, Cully Emerson says, being a female in this field has not been a barrier for her.